Hi everybody, Michelle and Mark Grunberg here, and we just finished the power ratios training, and wow, very intense. I uh, look forward to going through it again when we do actually have money to invest. Um, it's a little above my head, but what I love the most about it was first and foremost, reminders of the speculation versus the investment. Definitely see a huge difference there. And thank God we got rid of most of our depreciating assets, including a boat, a long time ago. So um, what we're working on right now is reducing our consumables and increasing our cash so that we can pay off the debt. When the debts are paid off, then we're gonna have money that we can put into CFAs. And so I really liked that there were percentages, that everything was based on ratios. That was awesome. And that makes sense to me. We would start off in the 50, 40, and 10 um, area to, to really increase our cash and have very few speculative um, transactions. But then as we grow, you know, we'll move into the uh, 70, 20, 10. That was good. And then the other thing that I really liked was the temperament and lifestyle equate part of the equation because um, I have seen that. Um, my husband's temperament and lifestyle um, equations are different than mine. And he's much better at investing than I am. When we, when we came into our marriage 13 years ago, a uh, quarter of a million dollars in investments. And I remember the first time we sat down with our investment advisor, both of us I walked out going, I don't understand anything he said. And just like Hans was talking about, it was all just marketing. Whatever was on his plate for that month of promotions that he needed to sell more of is what he was trying to sell us. And I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. Now, he and I weren't married yet. And so I waited for a while in the car, and then I said, you know, honey, did you understand what he was talking about? And he goes, I really didn't. And I said, well, you know, it's not my money. I only had about 60000 and he had, he had you know, 200,000. I said, but you know, it's not really my money to talk about, but maybe we should really understand what's going on there. And we moved into a place where we took more control, just like Hans is talking about. We owned it, put some money in an annuity that ended up being very secure for us. And it got us through the economic downturn. I would like to say that we still have some of that, but we used it over those years in order to survive. And I remind Mark of that often, that it, without that money, we wouldn't have made it through that economic downturn because we kept the business going and, and um, anyway, things were difficult. My husband, anyway, we all went through it. Everyone that's in my generation went through that economic downturn and all of us suffered. So this is our ability to get control again and to grow. And uh, many of you helped me after the last um, video. I've got some really great advice about how to maybe relax a little bit of one of the tens in order to make sure we're covering our bills as we build down to the 70%. So I am tracking every dollar that we have. We've got a hard bill budget, and we've got this place that I'm putting all these things that I consider um, smalls, you know, things that we could actually eliminate even more so. We had already done more on debt a couple times. We thought we had eliminated quite a bit, but there's things on that list. So at the end of the month, we're gonna look and see what else there is. We're also in the month of December, so there's some extra pressure not to get Christmas gifts. We are not buying Christmas gifts. What we are doing is being very strategic in how we're handling Christmas this year, and we're doing it together, and it's been really, really good. So thank you to all of you who watched my last video and gave me good advice. Always advice is necessary. I may still reach out to the gentleman who taught War on Debt and had some ideas for me. Um, We'll see how this week goes. I am working on the optimization of income. I've got three or four different things that I need to do to help increase that income. I mean, because at the end of the day, I'm I'm bringing in only a thousand dollars a month to the family, and I used to make six figures. Um, now my company's doing six figures, but I'm only paying myself ten percent of the total. That being said, the profit margins are higher and I should be able to bring more into the table. So we're working through that right now. And uh, thanks to some of your advice, we really had a great talk on Friday as we went to go pay our bills and move some of the money that we had saved 
into the 70% budget again to pay these bills and they were credit card bills but that you know we're working through it and we're seeing how it all shakes out and the anxiety levels are going down so I appreciated um, your advice that don't try to do everything right now just do the best you can watching it carefully and suffering that was one of the points I got across to Mark is that I need to suffer more to get to the 70%. You know, we both do. But I'm managing the household expenses. And because I wasn't involved in it, I was just doing what I do. And that wasn't always the best thing for us. So that was really freeing. So um, power ratios checked off. Definitely need to go back to it again. Investment Mastery is the last one inside the TWF implementation, but I very much need to go over to the e-marketing formula course because we do own a product that I can actually market better and increase our revenue with. It's called I See You Grow. It was the consulting side of our business. It's been boxed up and professionally uh, video produced. And so I think in the EMF courses, if I could get those done by the end of the year, I can position I See You Grow to possibly even bring in 30 to 40,000, maybe even $70,000 next year. There's no reason why it shouldn't. It's just that I haven't really known what to do with it. So I'm going to move from TWF implementation, having accomplished the 10, 10, 10, 70, into the e-marketing formula uh, course. Now, there's a TWF full course here. And it looks very similar to what we're doing uh, in the implementation course. So I'm in TWF implementation program. Somebody needs to tell me if I need to go into the True Wealth Formula full course. I also think I should go back and do some more on the debt payoff and the 10, 10, 10, 70. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look in here for those. But by tomorrow, I'm going to finish up the um, investment mastery which I don't have any money to invest yet, but I'm getting there. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. Here's the beautiful tree. We, we changed the house around yesterday, and my new happy spot includes our Christmas tree. And that was kind of cool because um, the proceeds from our Christmas tree purchase go to um, two different nonprofit groups that we support, one in Cambodia and one in Israel. And so it's called Buy a Tree, Save a Life. Um, I've always loved a, a real tree in the house, but I didn't want to just buy one. I wanted it to go to our giving, so it felt pretty good. All right, take care. Bye.